fantastic day. I asked you guys last Friday, I think it was Friday, if you guys wanted me to do this kind of grungy, easy, simple, smoky eye. It was definitely inspired by me, Lacunas. I am obsessed with her and I always have been, but in Bad Moms, she was so funny. So it definitely made me want to do this kind of messed up eye look last week and I've been doing it again this week as well. So I wanted to show you all how easy it can be to do this kind of messy makeup look. So let's jump into it. I hope you guys enjoy. I know my brows are super intense, you guys. I just got them microbladed on Friday and for a week they stay really, really dark like this. Um, and then they fade, they're going to fade like 50%. But I didn't want to wait to do this video and once I get makeup on, it looks halfway normal. So um, I'm going to take this NARS Creamy Concealer. This is the one in the pot and this is a new concealer by NARS, $30. And I really wanted to try it, um, but I'm like, I don't know how a pot concealer would do under my eyes. Um, <clears throat> so I got a sample and it's good. It's really good. I'll use this as my concealer today so you can see how it works under the eyes, but it's really good. Okay, so whenever I'm doing a look like this, I definitely want to put down a skin colored base shadow because my eyes are so super veiny and stuff. I just want a clean canvas. And then I'm gonna take and set it with some translucent powder. This is the RCMA, but whatever powder you have. Y'all are going to make fun of how easy this is. I'm going to take a kind of cooler tone but very light eyeshadow and I'm going to put that in the crease um, and I'll probably have to come back and build it in just a minute or maybe not. I'm putting it in the crease and a little bit below. It does not have to be perfect, that's the beauty of this. And then you're gonna take some kind of creamy eyeliner. This one is the Lancome Drama, just any black pencil liner, but this one's super creamy and I had it in a sample size. So this is what I've been using. Excuse so I just start drawing a line really close to my natural lashes and maybe a little bit more on the outer corner and it does not have to be perfect at all. Just be sure you're getting really close to your lash line. And then immediately before I even move on to the next eye, I'm gonna take this matte black shadow in the Milani palette on a pencil brush, and I'm gonna immediately smudge that out. Super messy. My rabbit is making so much noise, y'all. See how messy I'm being? and just keep blending it out. And look, can you see that white spot between my lashes and the liner? You wanna for sure get all those spots like that. The very last thing I'm gonna do is take a little bit darker of a brown. So we started with this in the crease and then there's a little bit darker. This Milani quad and must have neutrals is actually like the perfect the perfect quad for or palette for this. It even has this little brush and this brush end is what I'm going to be using to place the powder. This brush is actually good. Like I'm thinking I'm going to Vegas in a couple weeks and I'm thinking about just taking this palette because everything in it is perfect. The shades are amazing. The quality is great. And then I'm just kind of taking that I hope you can see what I just did. Let me do it on the other eye while explaining. I suck at like tutorial type videos. I'm so much better at get ready with me like chit chatty ones. Okay, so I'm taking it right above that um, black and just smudging it out up into my crease. And then we're gonna go back one more time with our original brush and the original light neutral brown shade and kind of blend it a little bit more. And I'm not gonna highlight my brow bone with anything just because this isn't like a super put together look and it's supposed to look kind of old makeup-y. So I'm not even gonna 
highlight my brow bone. I am going to do some mascara though. So I just curled my lashes. I was going to use the Marc Jacobs Velvet Noir Mascara because for this look, I want really thick, voluminous lashes. Um, even kind of maybe spidery, if you will. Um, and those, that Marc Jacobs is so, it, it builds so much volume. But I got this product from Clarins today. I actually got it from a company called Octoly. They sent it for review. It is the Clarins Mascara Super Volume. So I thought, let's see if this gives me some super volume. So I did just um, curl my lashes. I'm also going to be doing my lower lashes and my lower eyeliner and such after I put on my foundation. This brush is huge. It's absolutely huge. But, dang. Upon first layer, I'm pretty impressed. So there it is with just one layer. But like I said, I am going to build this up. I will say that... This does give you some volume, but I'm kind of amazed how well this separates every single lash. Like, it fans them out. I don't know if it's the size of the brush or what it is, but that's pretty cool. Okay, my face is super broken out right now, so forgive me. Let's get some foundation on quickly. I'm going to use this Smashbox Pour Minimizing <clears throat> Filler filler, pore filler, and I'm just going to put that there on the center of my face or kind of where I have the biggest pores, but I'm also going to put it on my forehead and my chin. Those are the places I get oily and I find in general a pore filling, con uh, a pore filling primer is <clears throat> really kind of mattifying too. So I'm just using that kind of in my T-zone. I was initially going to use the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation because I love this foundation. But <clears throat> before I started filming this video, someone came knocking at my door and they dropped off this Aqua Petite Jelly BB Cream from Holica. Holica. I got this on Amazon um, from got this on Amazon. My friend Le Lip Gloss Leslie was telling me about it. So I want to try this. Now, this says it is a BB cream. So hopefully it gives me the amount of coverage I'm looking for. I thought it was going to be a thick, kind of like moussey consistency, but it's not. Well, it's called a jelly, so I guess it'd be more of a gel. I guess, maybe, you could say that. What is that smell? It smells like soap. And I know it's not my beauty blender because my beauty blender was actually clean. I just had to wet it, which hello, it's like a day sent from Jesus himself whenever you don't have to actually wash your beauty blender in the morning because you went on a psychotic brush and beauty blender cleaning recently. So you have all clean beauty blenders. All you have to do is wet it. <laughs> Anyone else enjoy the small, simple things in life like that? I can't really figure out what I think about this. It's definitely not full coverage. I mean, it is just a BB cream. So it's showing, you know, my pimples and stuff, my breakout. But really, honestly, foundation isn't about covering all your blemishes. That's what concealer is for, right? So I'm going to take this um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer. It's in the color medium. And I'm actually not using this under my eyes. I'm just using it to spot conceal. Most of my concealers are in like light or fair. And I mean, that's good because, you know, for concealing under your eyes. But for your face, you need like a skin color right so I'm just lightly tapping that out with my finger next I'm going to go in with that NARS potted concealer again and conceal 
under my eyes and really brighten it up under there um, because of the darkness on the eyes you know we want it to be super bright up under there this is such a good concealer I've seen a, a couple of like sponsored videos about this concealer and then people saying that they got it in the mail from NARS you know and but all of the sponsored videos that I've seen on it um you know and stuff like that like I can genuinely tell that they like it you know um I don't do sponsored videos ever never will never have but um sometimes you know you can tell they're not being honest um but like all of the people that I've watched do reviews on this I can genuinely tell that they like it and I'm thinking how the heck would that concealer work under the eyes because honestly the um the NARS creamy concealer the one in the doe foot you know tube doe foot applicator in the tube that one was almost too thick under the eyes for me this one is so much better I'm gonna go ahead and set under the eye with a the RCMA powder and then I'm going to set the rest of my face because I do want like I said a more matte face which is hard to achieve when you have dry skin because it can look like it's clinging to dryness and stuff but um this one by wet n wild this powder it's the photo focus powder it does not accentuate dryness so in this picture here it doesn't really look like mila has blush on but she does have kind of a contour and this is the earthy blush in by burberry um and i saw someone Ooh, I hate it when I forget who it was. Someone mentioned this as using it as a contour shade. Jen from Jen Loves Reviews. That's who it was. I was watching her declutter. And she was talking about using this as a contour color. So that made me think, you know what? I'm going to bust that baby out and see how that works. And this is the perfect look to do it. Because like I said, Mila doesn't really have um, blush on but she does have this kind of slight contour and her face I'm so jealous of her face her, her face structure is so beautiful it kind of goes down right here I don't know how to explain it I wish mine did that though it's kind of like it goes like that so I'm gonna try to kind of mimic that today I typically don't do this kind of baking but I am today. I'm going there today. Kind of helps you really be able to place the product where you want it, you know? Sometimes you need that. So, with whatever's left on that product, I'm just kind of bringing it up a little bit so that can act as my blush as well. And then she does have highlighter on sometimes. I don't contour my nose, but she definitely has a smaller nose than I do. I'm going to take this Vivid Highlighter by Makeup Revolution in the color Radiant Lights. And I'm going to place it right here. She does have a bit of a highlight. I'm going to go ahead and dust away this because it's giving me major anxiety. And I feel like I need something like right here. I think I'm just going to take some more of the RCMA powder and kind of blend it down a little bit. Like something was missing. But you know what I think it is? I think it's my lower lash line. So for the lower lashes, I'm going to go back to that eyeliner and I'm going to put it in my waterline. I cannot watch people do this, so look away if you're the same as me. But I'm also, I'm going to be kind of messy and not worry if it gets a little bit in my lashes or below or anything like that. And then I'm going to take actually that same Milani brush the bigger end and I'm going to mix that brown and the black together and smudge that out on the outer edge 
And then I'm gonna take a bigger pencil brush, well, it's kind of a crease brush, and I'm gonna go into that lightest brown that we started with at the beginning, and I'm gonna totally blend that like crazy. I'm gonna take a little bit of this strobing powder and just put it kind of in the inner corner just because I can't stand when I don't do that. I always have to have some sort of brightness right there. Then I'm gonna pop on some mascara on the lower lashes. Okay, so the last thing is a nude lip. Last week when I was wearing a nude lip, it was a matte lip, but I can't do a matte lip today. My lips are so dry. So I'm using the nude sticks in Whisper. I love these nude sticks so much. Oh, this is matte. What? For some reason, I was thinking this isn't matte. It is. Oh, but it feels good. Okay, so um, I'm going to take my hair down. And we're going to do messy hair. I always do messy hair. Let me skip back. Um, but I got this new Whey product. It's the dry shampoo foam that everybody's been talking about. You spray it out. It's literally a foam, which is so weird. And then you kind of put it in between your hands like this. And you just start placing it in your hair. I do it at the roots. It gives you volume. It gives you texture. It takes away those oils and stuff. Um, but it, I don't know, it makes you look like you have dirty hair, which I always have dirty hair. Let's be real. See how it just kind of looks messy? I love that look so much. <laughs> so there is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of grungy look. Thumbs up for bad moms. Have you guys seen it? Let me know in the comments. Uh, and I will talk to you all very soon. Bye.